What is going on guys? So today I'm going to show you a tool that I use. Um, it's really advanced. It helps a lot with advertising. It's actually one of my buddies. Uh, he started this company. I've known uh, Zach for over 10, 15 years at this point. Great guy, amazing human. Um, so I've watched his progression. He created this tool and we are using it so often in our business. I can't even tell you. So I wanted to share this with my YouTube community let everyone know how awesome this tool is okay make sure you start using this this tool is honestly probably the best for people that are not necessarily like it's good for competitor research to understand okay what are your competitors doing um you know in terms of their advertising so that you can kind of understand that and structure your offers nicely structure your creative nicely and understand what your competitors are doing in your market and in other markets right like let's just say you're advertising in canada you want to understand what people are doing in the US and vice versa, or you just want to understand what your local competitor is doing for their ads. There's so many ways you can use this tool. It's amazing. We're going to walk through every step of it today. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so really just, just to be aware. So it works very well to, from understanding your competitors, but it also works very well if you're just looking to understand how to market a new niche. So if you might be a marketing agency specializing in renovations or mortgages or real estate or dentists or whatever, and you just got a new client that's doing landscaping. So it has nothing to do with your regular strategy. Or you just got a client that's in uh, e-commerce for hair products or whatever it is, right? It's just outside of your normal scope is the point. Uh, you come across a client like that, this tool will make it 10 times easier for you to actually deliver results for a brand new client that you've never run ads for that niche before. Because uh, you'll be able to understand exactly what's happening in the niche currently. And then you can either replicate or restructure or actually add more value to the offers uh, when deploying ads for the new niche. Okay, so let's go over it. Um, so there's a tool, and I'm sure you guys all know this, Facebook Ad Library, one of the best tools for understanding, um, you know, like what you're advertising, what you should be advertising, what your competitors are doing. Um, so you wanna come to Facebook Ad Library, you'll see that I'm gonna search for all ads, all countries and all categories. Let's just say, I'll just use an example, Let's just say I'm trying to figure out how to advertise for um, a dental practice. Let's just use that. So I'll type in dentist. And I'll see 27,000 ads total that are live currently. These are all live ads that are live at the moment. It tells you exactly where they're live, on what um, placements they are. And you can see the amount of results around the world. Um, I could filter that by Canada if I want or by a specific country if I want later to get more localized understanding because sometimes niches are local specific. So you can come here and see what people are legit running. So free Invisalign consult, people are selling Invisaligns, people are creating videos. Right, so you can analyze the creative, not only that, but you can actually you know reduce playback speed, understand what's going on, see the full copy. Um, and then here's something called see ad details. So if you go to see ad details, you'll be able to see the page, you'll be able to see all the ads associated with that page, um, as well as all the variations. You can see the headlines, um, additional assets. So it'll show you all the links associated uh, with this ad, the text and everything. So it's a really robust tool, nonetheless, to be able to see all ads that a particular advertiser is deploying. Here's all the ads from this competitor, right? So. Facebook obviously makes that information open source. Meta wants you to know um, what people are doing. Um, it kind of evens the playing field a little bit, lets you understand what people are doing, gets people to start easier. So here's another example. They're running carousel ads um, where you can see the different carousel ads, um, straightening, whitening, all this jazz. You can see all the creatives and you can see some of it's in like Indian or some of it's in like Chinese or some of it's in different languages, which because we're doing global right now. But I like to do global. Let's see, I don't care where you're located. I just wanna see what's being run. So um, if I like a particular you know, ad, I'm a big fan of authentic, very simple ads. So this is a great ad in my opinion where it just shows the before and shows the after. Very simply, sign up below. I'm not sure about the text, but um, you can definitely make really high quality ads just by looking at what your niche is currently doing, okay? Now, let's just say that I like a particular ad, okay? Let's just say that I like a particular ad. The reason I'm saying this is because these ads disappear right when they go offline, okay? So right when this advertiser stops running this ad, 
then the ad goes offline, meaning you'll never find it again. It disappears from the universe, never gonna be there again, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna use a tool, and this is my buddy's tool, it's called Foreplay, okay? On the ad library, you're going to see a button that says Save to Foreplay, okay? In order to get Foreplay, you're gonna visit the link in the description, okay? You can sign up for Foreplay, um, and then sign up for the basic package to start, just test it out. Um, but, uh, but yeah, definitely sign up using that link. You'll get a good, you'll get a good discount and whatnot if you sign up using my link. But yeah, anyway, so let's just say I liked, uh, I'm going to pick a random ad. Let's just say I liked, let's just say I liked, which one do I like? Okay. Let's just say I like this one here. Okay. Polishing. It's just some kind of animated stuff, even though I don't like this one. Let's just say I do. So there's something called boards, right? Okay, and these boards here are going to be boards that we will we will sort of categorize our ads into these boards so that for future use. So for example, I'm just going to put this one in the library because I don't have a dentist board right now and I'll click save to foreplay. So and and I can just browse the ad library. So that's saved. I'm going to go and find another one. Let's just say I like this other animated one. I'm going to go save to foreplay under that same board that I just did. And then I'm going to find, let's just say this guy. Um, okay, ugly teeth, white teeth, cool, that's awesome, save the foreplay. Okay, let's just say I like these ads. I'm then going to open up, so foreplay also has a Chrome extension where you can see the ads and you can also save the landing pages, okay? But we're going to go over to foreplay.co, which is where you log in, okay? And we are going to sign in um, just give it a second. I'm going to pause for the load. Okay, we're all loaded up now. So basically, um, here is my boards. So I have a bunch of boards. I can make folders and put boards under each one. So let's just say I'm running mortgage ads. I could have home equity ads, purchase loans, refinance, HELOCs, reverse mortgages, whatever sort of subcategories you want to save under that one niche. So even for dentists, I can have dentist as the main folder, and then I can have Invisalign, whitening, straightening, braces, whatever, right? And so categorize it however you'd like, but I'm gonna go over to the library and you can see the ones I already saved, they're up here, these three here. They're all saved already. So here's what I would do. I'm gonna click a new folder, create folder. Let's call this dentists. Now that we have this dentist folder, we're then going to create a, oops, we're going to create a board. Uh, we'll call this whitening and we'll put this under the dentist folder, done. So now that that's there, I have my whitening, right? Okay, so now there's nothing here right now, so I'm gonna take these guys that I already saved and put them under the corresponding whitening board, okay? Whitening board and whitening board. So now, when I go to my whitening board, I have these saved forever, okay? Here's what's beautiful about this tool, okay? I can at any moment just grab the link. So see how there's a copy link button, copy link button on top of the ads. I can grab the link and literally paste the link here like this. And what will happen is whoever gets this link will just see whatever I uh, send to them. So they'll be able to see um, the ads that I share. So theoretically, if you have an agency where you need your clients to approve the creative, you can create a quick link like that, put four, five, six, seven ads in the link, sh send that link off to your client and say, hey, what do you think of these concepts? Do you approve these ideas? And they could say, oh yeah, I like this, this and that. And then you can say, okay, perfect. And then you can go ahead and launch for them, right? And recreate the ads. I don't get my clients to approve nothing. So I, I do this, um, we launch our own creatives, our own ads inside using our own pages, using our own ad accounts. The only thing we're using from the client is their credit card on the ad account. So we're not doing any, hey, can you approve this? We used to do that. Your whole business will become an art project if you start getting clients to approve things. They hire you because you are the one to deliver results. You're the one that's capable of delivering fantastic results. You don't need their opinions because their opinion, if they if their opinion worked, they would not need to hire you. Okay, so just don't don't remember, don't forget that. Don't um, the idea is that you are the guy that knows what they're doing guy or girl that knows what they're doing and that's why you're being hired. So you should not be asking clients to approve things. Listen, if it's a heavy compliance industry 
and you need like a licensed broker number or things like that to stay compliant, okay, that's a different story. But if, if it's when it comes down to the offer and the creative and the targeting and the way you go about doing things, you're going to be launching so many ads anyways that if you had to get approval each time, you'd have you'd blow your brains out because it's too it's too often it's too tedious. So basically, you get the idea. So I can create a link anytime with one ad. I can create a link off of an entire board. So if I go to the board and I just go over to share, there's a link up here for the entire board. So if I click, now if I go paste, you'll see that there's multiple ads this time. Um, and this is very, very advanced, right? Because I can share this with my team, I can I can, you know, share this with my ad buyer, I can share this with my client, I can share this with my designer and say replicate these all, right? There's so, it's such an easy way to just grab the link and, and, and just and flip it off to people, right? So there's also like an AI search. You could also search directly within their tool. They have a discovery option. Um, so you can come in here and search. I'm, I'm not a fan of this one. I like personally using the ad library um, organically and then saving them into here. Um, there's also briefs. This is beta, but essentially think about it like this. Um, I can create a project brief. Um, so let's just say I had an ad that I liked and I wanted to change it with this change and make these amendments and do this. I can write all of those amendments that I'd like and storyboard the changes that I would need. And then, like I said, grab it into a link and share it with my designer. They'll have the ad, they'll have exactly what I need changed and all the information around it. So briefs are very valuable as well. Um, you can write them um, and then add the inspiration from you know your ad categories, right? So I could say like add to brief, add to brief and add to brief, continue. So this is my dentist brief. So I'm gonna write a little thing saying, hey, uh, you know, Soraya, who's my designer, you know, make sure to change this part to this part, right? And like give her specific instructions um, as to what I liked and disliked about the inspirational ads that I'm seeing here. Um, and then I can even get into ad specs, right? So I can say, okay, look, I need this aspect ratio with the still image. I also need this aspect ratio. I can put a product link. So this could be a competitor's link or it could be my own product page, whatever I'd like, or my service page, whatever it is. And then you know, what's crazy is they actually offer AI storyboarding. So this is like literally an AI is gonna put this together if you write my script essentially, right? And then it's gonna go ahead and generate uh, a script for you um, so that you can save a lot, a lot, a lot of time um, in the process. I don't use this too much, I'll be honest with you. Um, I'm personally a fan of writing ads um, organically uh, and then using AI to kind of build variations off of what you wrote. Uh, that's kind of my vibe with AI. Um, if everyone's using AI to write their copy, then realis realistically, you know, you're not really differentiating yourself. It's all going to be written in the same format and whatnot. Um, but here's what I like. So look, this is also a storyboard, right? So I can literally say, okay, and this is, this is especially good for videos. So for example, if let's just say I have this video here, right? It's showing all this animated crap and blah, 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 right? I can say, okay, this particular part of the video, okay, I want you to do X, Y, and Z, and then the action's gonna be this, what, this, and that, right? And then I upload the actual video or the image, right? So in this case, I'll just put this random picture here. This has nothing to do with what we're doing. But I can say, okay, this picture, this is gonna be the hook, this is gonna be the problem, this is gonna be the benefits, this is gonna be the unique insight, this is gonna be the social proof, right? So you can really structure it nicely, call to action, um, and build an awesome, awesome, um, overall ad strategy using this tool. I can add my drop Dropbox, um, you know, Google Drive and whatnot so that it can actually um, link the assets I need. Um, so if my designer needs certain assets, you know, she can go about finding them directly from here. Um, and then, yeah, and then all you do is you share the brief. So you just grab the link and then I didn't fill it out fully, but you'd share the brief with your team, with your client, with whatever and say, okay, this is what we're gonna do. This is how we're gonna change things. This is the aspects that we're gonna use. This is da, 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 da. So you can see how collaborative this tool is and how advanced it is. I use it a lot, um, highly recommend it. So, so yeah, guys, use this tool. It's gonna drop your cost per lead, okay? It's gonna make you also highly aware of what's going on in the market, in your particular market. And it's gonna allow you to stay on top of the game oftentimes creatives get stale. So you can run amazing winning creatives for two, three weeks, and then all of a sudden the, you know, sort of 
the CPL starts to rise. And that's not because your offer is bad or your creative is bad or whatever. It's just because the same audience is seeing the same creative over and over and over again. And you need to make that a change. You need to refresh that. You need to make it um, sort of vibrant again and new again in their eyes such that the CPL will go down. Okay, so I hope you found this video valuable. Click the link below to sign up for Foreplay. Um, as well, if you like my content, uh, go ahead and subscribe, like the video, and leave a comment in this video. Um, if there's anything you liked about this, if there's anything that you have a question about, I will answer every single comment, I promise. Just comment below and we'll go from there, okay guys? Thanks for watching and to your success, amigos. I'm glad you liked that video. Listen, if you really wanna scale your agency, there is no better program online than my coaching program. I swear, there's tons of these gurus that will tell you all this cookie cutter stuff. I'm the only guy that will actually hold you accountable to getting to $100,000 a month. Very simply, the processes and protocols that I have in my agency are very, very robust and secretive. I share a lot of free content online, but my paid content and my paid coaching is what gets you to the next level, okay? So if you're interested, just click the link below, okay? There's gonna be a link so that you can book a time with me or my team, and we're gonna show you exactly the roadmap on how to get from literally $0 to $100,000 a month using the marketing agency model. Okay. Thanks for watching. Like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.